The Boys is back for a fourth season on Prime Video. So today, let's see if this new season is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Prime Video. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Victoria Newman is closer than ever to the Oval Office and under the control of Homelander. With only months to live, Billy Butcher must find a way to work with the boys if they want to save the world. So it's been a couple years since the third season of The Boys. I had to do a catch up of that season. A lot of shocking moments within that season. Just moments that made me question everything about that show. It was truly wild. And I was curious to see how the fourth season would be able to amp that up. I didn't think it was possible in the third season, but they do it in the fourth season. There is so many shocking moments, so many bloody scenes that really just stand out in the show and make me go what the hell is even that but it just adds to the intensity and craziness that the boys is known for the boys season four buckles down on the politics which all feels way too familiar with our real life election year there is a lot of political satire in here going as far as saying make america super again there is references to january 6th within this series the series has never been shy when it comes to the politics and what homelander is representing you have new characters that are introduced into the show that just add to the politics of this series and you have victoria newman who is trying to get into the oval office with her position in the oval office you would have Homelander be able to control a lot more. And so there is a lot of things that do mirror what's going on within the show with real life. They do a great job of connecting this political satire while also being like this superhero violent comedy series as well. There's a lot that just adds to that political satire in here. Not only is it a political satire, you also have references and jabs to woke agenda. You have pop culture satire in here looking at Warner Brothers and having write-offs for their movies and Marvel's big phase reveals at Comic Cons. Things that The Seven is going through is referencing what we know in pop culture and our current state of the world. But within all this politics surrounding the Oval Office and watching Homelander try to gain more power, all the characters in here, from Billy Butcher, Huey, Starlight, A-Train, Mother's Milk, there's a lot of depth given to these characters. That's a result of the path that the characters have taken in the previous three seasons. And all those moments that we fleshed these characters out previously, it's all coming head on in the fourth season and just adds so much to them. Billy is dealing with a terminal diagnosis. Mother's Milk is dealing with anxiety. Homelander has a constant need for approval. Starlight is dealing with being in the public eye in a negative way. Huey is dealing with some health issues for his father. And so there's just a lot that's weighing these characters down, but it challenges them in a very strong way that you get to know them a lot more compared to these previous seasons and see what makes them click and work together with other members, but also what is challenging them mentally and physically and seeing how they're able to rise to that challenge. It's so interesting to see how these storylines play out individually but also together as a group billy butcher has a lot to do in here as he's dealing with that terminal diagnosis and how he is trying to grapple with that fact that he may die at any moment it's weighing him down and there is a lot of emotional moments that do come from carl urban as he adds so much personality and depth to this character that he once again is easily a standout within this season but i was also surprised with the contributions from a train and the deep they've been 
pretty interesting characters in the previous season, but they play a significant role within this fourth season, especially A-Train, as we see a different side to this character. And the Deep is kind of transitioning back to where we got him in the first season. And he's very slimy, manipulative. He only thinks about himself, but he has a significant role within this fourth season. We also get some new additions to the series. We got Firecracker and Sister Sage, who are welcome additions to the series. Sister Sage is literally the smartest person in the world, and she goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Homelander, and that provides for a lot of entertaining moments. We also have Firecracker that adds to a lot of the politics as she has her podcast, and she's on the news, really challenges the media. And looking at the different groups, you have the good side with Starlight, and then you have Homelander side as well, and watching them fight against each other. It's very manipulative, but also very strategic. Egypt. The action in here is top notch once again. There is a lot of brutal moments, blood constantly throughout, people being torn apart, holes being punched through them. It feels like at times I'm watching the fatalities for Mortal Kombat and a lot of the sound effects that go with it. It's brutal as can be, but they take things in a new direction in regards to the super abilities and what people can do and adds to the carnage of this series. The comedy is still there. A lot of the satire and the jokes from the characters, the interactions, it still plays a huge role within this show, but it really buckles down on the politics and the urgency surrounding Homelander, looking at his past and his constant need for approval and wanting to control the world and have it just be supers. Political satire is an eerie look at our real life election year referencing January 6th and constant jabs. This show has never been quiet on all of that, but it feels heavy on the politics and it's been bringing that up within the previous season and now it's all coming forth and just is very strong storyline throughout the show. The Boys season four gives me everything that I love about this show. The characters, the storylines, the carnage, the blood, it's all there and ends on a very exciting note and could lead to a very satisfying, very urgent, action-packed fifth season. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully it comes pretty quick, not two years from now, but I am looking forward to a new season of The Boys. So before I give my score for The Boys Season 4 on Prime Video, make sure to check out my channel here to do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give The Boys Season 4 an A-. Thank you guys for checking my review for The Boys Season 4 on Prime Video. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.